you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? Don't worry, it will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good luck. Ah, a fellow lake coming to well in his little soiree. And arriving by carriage, no less. I salute you, sir. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this god's forsaken mountain than any desire to actually arrive late. I prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party, so as not to miss out on any of the drinking. Please. There's not enough drinking in the world today, wouldn't you agree? I will just rest here. Damnably Welcome to the Thalmor Embassy. Your invitation, please. Thank you, sir. Go right in. Now then, here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thigh, etc., etc. I'm just doing my duty, sir. Everything's in order. Welcome back, sir. Yes, yes. Please proceed into the embassy. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Ellenwyn, the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? Ah, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. Please, Madam tell me more about yourself. So what brings you to this... <laughs> to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto well, wine. I did hear that the Alto Do I have your permission to uncork the, the Arenthia Red? red? Of course. I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please enjoy yourself. Many hours in council meetings lately grappling with that problem. We must keep faith in ourselves and the divines. What can I get for you? You made it in. Good. As soon as you distract the guards, I'll open this door and we can get you on your way. Let's hope we both live through this day. What can I get for you, sir? Here you go, sir. The finest Colovian brandy. Is there anything else I can get for you? All right, then. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles! If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. I've spent many hours in council meetings lately grappling with that problem. Wonderful! I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. 
Say on, friend. Is that all? <laughs> My friend, you've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is it's somewhat of a specialty of mine. As much as Stand back you and behold my handiwork. Here you say so. Attention, everyone. Could I have your attention, please? I have an announcement to make. I propose a toast to Ellen Wynn, our man. mistress. What are you doing? I speak figuratively. Of course, uh. nothing could be more unlikely than that someone would actually want her in their bed. Although, most of you are Let's already go. in Let's go. With her. Before anyone notices us. I speak figuratively, of course. Fine, fine. Get your hands off me. I'll be a good boy now. Wouldn't want to... So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking, got it? Follow me. Who comes, Malvern? It's been a you know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Zavani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. Come on. If someone misses me at the party, we're both dead. I need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. Call if you have Need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. Good Did luck. You see those robes You're on your own this now. morning. Who are they with? More of the emissaries' treaty enforcers. No, they're high mages just in from Alindor. I guess himself is finally getting worried about all the dragon attacks. Ah, good. I've been wondering how we were supposed to defend this place from a dragon. If a dragon does show up, maybe we'll get lucky, and it will eat the mages first. Might give us enough time to kill it. Ha! I'd like to see those arrogant bastards taken down a notch. Always looking down their noses at us lowly foot sloggers. <laughs> well, we'd better get back to our rounds.
that money. I earned it. I have my own expenses, you know. Silence. Do not presume, Gizza. You are most useful, but do not. <laughs> But no one has valuable information, have they? Hawk, has he? He knows where that old man is you're looking for. He told me himself. You'll get the rest of your money when we confirm his story, as agreed. So he has talked. I knew it. Everyone talks, in the end. Now, I have work to do. Leave me to it if ever you want to see the rest of your payment. Can I... I could help you. He talked to me. He trusts me. You'd like to come downstairs with me, is that it, Gissa? Shall we loose his bonds and put you in a cell together? You can ask him anything you'd like and see how he answers. No, no, I'll... I'll wait outside. That would probably be best. Now, get out. They're scared of the dragons too, aren't they? Paying too well, and they don't know anything. Oh, please. I don't know anything else. Don't you think I'd have told you already? Silence. You know the rules. Do not speak unless spoken to. Master Rolandil will ask the questions. Let's begin again. No, for pity's you know sake. Rules. I've already told you everything. No! Start at the beginning, as usual. If you persist no, in this wait. stubbornness, I was just I'll have catching my breath. Why wouldn't I tell you again? I, I don't even know anything. There's an old man. He lives in Rifton. He could be this Esburn you're looking for, but I don't know. He's old and seem kind of crazy. That's all I know. And his name is I don't know his name. Like I've already told you a hundred. You know the rules. Just answer the questions. And where can we find this nameless old man? Oh, like I said, I don't know. I've seen him down in the Ratway. Maybe he lives down there, but I don't know for sure. That will be all for now. I must say I continue to be disappointed in your lack of cooperation. I hope that time will be better. What else do you want from me? I've already told you everything. <laughs> Listen, if you let me go, I can take you to Rift and show you where... Ah! <laughs>
I told you. I don't know anything else about it. What? Who? What? What do you want, then? Yeah. Sure. Uh, okay. Come on. This way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. It must lead somewhere. I damn well hope so. If it helps you twist them up, I'm glad to help. They're after some old guy named Esburn. Something to do with dragons. I gathered it from listening to them talk when they thought I was out. I've seen a guy in Riften who they seem to think is him. Not much to go on. I don't even know where he lives or his name, but they seem pretty excited about it. That's it. Now, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Now the Thalmor will be hunting me for the rest of my life. I hope it was worth it. I saw guards dragging bodies over here. Might be a way out. Let's get out of here. Thalmor will be hunting me for the rest of my life. I hope it was worth it. You didn't have to help me, so thanks. <laughs> Ever wonder in terms to have one soul 
ripped out like that. Let me know if you want anything. <laughs> I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. alive at least. Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. Did you learn anything useful? Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that. Esbern? He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. That crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Esbern was one of the blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. Ironic, right? The old enemies assume that every calamity must be a plot by the other side. Even so, we've got to find Esbern before they do. He'll know how to stop the dragons if anybody does. Do they know where he is? Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Talk to Brynjolf. He's well-connected. A good starting point, at least. Oh, and when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. <laughs> 